Hi and welcome to this video where I will have a look at FL Studio and I will go through some of the tips and tricks that I think can benefit you in your music production and things that I would have liked to know when I first started using FL Studio. First we will have a look at the channel rack. The channel rack is basically where you have your different patterns and the melodies and also the samples in the project. The shortcut to open the channel rack is F6. In the top left corner of the channel rack you can decide if you want to see the samples or the VSTs. You can select the channel by clicking with the left mouse button or you can hold down the left mouse button and pull down and you will select all the clips. You can also double click on one of them and then it will select all the different channels. You can copy and paste melody lines by right clicking, copy and then right clicking and paste in the channel where you would like to paste the melody. By using your numpad on your keyboard you can also swap between the different patterns by clicking 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. Uh, this is a very easy way to change the pattern that you're working on. This can also be done when you're in the piano roll. You can just click the number for the pattern and you will be taken directly to it. In the piano bar you can also easily copy and paste the melody lines. Uh, to select you can hold down the right mouse button and then select the area that you would like to select. Uh, you can also use Ctrl A and this will select the area that is in use in that uh, piano bar scroll. You can then also easily by clicking Ctrl B copy the rhythm or the melody to the next bar and if you would like to copy let's say those two bars you can then just Control a and Control b and you will copy it to all four bars so using Control a and Control b Control a is for selecting all and Control b is for duplicating what you have selected by using Control arrow down you can move the melody one octave down or control arrow up, you can move it up. To move only some of the notes, you can then select only those by holding down control and holding down the left mouse button and then selecting the notes. And if you would like to add some notes to your selection, hold down control and shift and then highlight or mark the notes that you want to include. Working in the playlist, you have a lot of the same options. You can hold down the control and then highlight the areas you want to copy with the left mouse button and then Control b and you will duplicate that selection to the next bar you can keep doing it for as many bars or in this case four bars as you would like to undo what you have done you can you can click Control z but if you click Control z twice then you just redo what you have just undone so to do several Undo's, you hold down Control, Alt, and Z, and then you can undo several steps back. You can also solo a track in the playlist by right clicking this button, and then it will only play that line. Or if you click again with the right button, it will then select all the lines in the playlist. An easy way to handle your playlist is by adding categories or groups so if you add a category on this case we can add a drum category we just insert a name on a row above the drums we can select a color for the drums and then by holding down the left mouse button and pulling down you can select all the different drums you want to keep in that group and you add to group and now all of these are in the same group if you right click the mute symbol it will then remove that group or if you hold down alt and right click it will then isolate so you only will hear the group you have selected in the playlist you can also easily add your patterns so you can click one two or three to indicate what pattern you want to add and then just add it straight into the playlist so just click one two three 
the number of your pattern and then you can directly paste it into the playlist. The next thing we want to do is try to route the channels from our channel rack into our mixer. And what you do then is that you double click one of the channels like this. And then you can go into the mixer and you right click on the first channel where you would like to insert these lines. Select channel routing and route selected channels starting from this track. If you decide that you don't want to route a channel rack track to the mixer, you can just hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and click on the channel number and it will unroute it. In FL Studio, by holding down the Alt key and then clicking with the left mouse button, it usually resets whatever function to the default. So even for the volume, if you want to reset the volume, you can hold down Alt and then left click and it will go back to its initial state. In the mixer, you can hold down the control button and then using the left mouse button and pulling to the right, you can then select several channels at once. And you can, for example, adjust the volume up and down for these channels. And you can also disable the effects for the channels. This is a good tip if you want to reduce your CPU usage or if you want to hear how the track sounds without the effects active. So this was a few of the tools and shortcuts that I use in FL Studio when I'm working. I'm sure there is a million other ways you can work in FL Studio that maybe I don't use or I didn't introduce in this video. I would like you to share your favorite hacks for FL Studio in the comments. So maybe there is something that I haven't heard about or something that I haven't covered in this video that maybe I should cover in an upcoming video. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you will have a great day. If you like this video and you would like to see more related to FL Studio music production in general, then make sure to subscribe and follow the channel. Have a great day. Take care.